Police are investigating after they say someone slashed the tires of 17 cars. Officials say this is unusual crime for the area, and they haven't seen anything like it in years. Our Rock County reporter Jenna Middaw spoke with neighbors and has more on their reaction. Good evening, Jenna. Hi, Charlotte and Susan. Well, neighbors tell me the area where this happened is normally pretty quiet, and they're hoping the Beloit Police Department will be able to find whoever slashed these tires. The whole neighborhood had been terrorized. Peter Yancey is the self-proclaimed security guard for Oak Street, but on Tuesday night... And that was a good night not to be on security. That's because police say 17 cars in the span of just a few blocks all had their tires slashed. He's poking tires, so he had to have a knife, you know, and had I ran up on him, I might have been poked too, you know. Peter doesn't have a car, but his next door neighbor, Dekeshan Pfeiffer, was hit. I came out and I saw it. I actually wasn't mad as I thought I would be, but. <laughs> Dekeshan just had to replace one tire, but many of the others had multiple tires slashed. Police say the cars were targeted at random some in the street, some in driveways, and some left alone. This was probably in the area of, you know, four to five thousand dollars worth of damage. Uh, that's a lot of money. Who does this, you know? Who, who has the time to uh, go around poking tires in 32 below, you know, at night? That's what police are trying to figure out. They don't have many leads, but are assuming this was done by a young person or a group of young people. Up to uh, no good in the neighborhood. And until the culprits are found, Peter and his neighbors will stay on guard. I hope they find this person, you know, because we don't have this in this neighborhood. Anyone with information is asked to call the Beloit Police Department or Crime Stoppers to remain anonymous. And we have both those phone numbers up on our website, channel3000.com. Jenna Mitter reporting tonight. Jenna, thank you.